Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I've got a frequently asked questions vlog video. And today we're going to talk about some questions that I get on a popular video review that I have on my main channel on my Under Armour Gray Mirrored Football Visor. So the one common question I always get on any of my visor videos is, can I wear it in games? Can I wear it in high school? Can I wear it in youth league or wherever? I always get these questions. Now, how I've always understood the rule is the referees have to be able to see your eyes. Now, the I, I would just say the best route to go is just to have a clear visor. They're they're approved um, in most places that you can if you know if you're playing football. Most time they're going to let you wear a clear visor. I haven't really ever heard of refs making people take off clear ones. But it, when it comes with the gray, dark smoke visors, however they're uh, advertised or you may call them. Uh, most of the time, you know, if you're wearing this in a game, sometimes, um, you know, if a ref sees you with it on, they'll make you uh, step out and take it and have you uh, remove it from your helmet. So it's definitely a downside because I know that a lot of people like uh, to wear these, you know, and, you know, if people aren't aware of the rule, they'll buy these and then, you know, get out there in the game and then have to take it off and they realize they can't use it. So the really only good thing for it. Uh, for this visor, say, let's just say high school, you could just wear it in practice as, <clears throat> as long as your coaches were cool with it. But um, I would say the best rule of thought uh, when it comes to looking at these visors, and I know they all come in different types of tint. Uh, some are going to be a little darker. Some are going to be a little more clear. You can. This one's not as dark, in my personal opinion. But if you can see your eyes, and your eyes can be seen pretty clearly, then... Uh, you shouldn't have a problem, but the best, like I said, the safest way, safest route, so you won't like have to step out for a play or anything, is just to get a clear one. Uh, these are just nice for uh, you know looks and everything. Uh, I have found that you know they do have a little bit of a benefit wearing them out there in the sun, but other than that, um, you do have to just really stick with a clear one. And that goes for you know with all brands uh, when we're talking about visors, and you know I've had the other other qu other questions I get are on you know um, putting it on face mask if it works on certain ones. I'm not going to really attest to that in this video, uh, just because I have one helmet that I put this on and it's um, it's all I know. So it really just you just have to test it out. And most time they you know if you can fit the visors on there some way somehow it'll work. Now I wanted to go back and talk about you know why and, you know some of the reasons why you know you might buy this and if you're unaware of the rule you know they'll make you come out and change the visor I mean it's not a big deal but it's something that I always get asked questions about and if I go back and I looked I got out my box for my original gray mirrored visor it says down here meets uh, NCAA and NFHS uh, specifications that's uh, National Football High School that's the that organization and it, however, it meets their standards for you know a protective visor. However, it's not going to comply with certain rules that say a certain state or organization has. Uh, I've known that some states are going to have different rules, you know, varying from state to state. There could be different rules on visors. Um, as, but as far as nationally, this visor does meet all standards. However, it doesn't meet referee standards or um, playing rule standards. So that's just something you have to kind of watch out. You know, if you play in a uh, professional league, semi-professional league, you know, even the pros, they're allowed to wear, you know, pretty much anything. Uh, but when it comes to, I know even college, it's, I know a long time ago, you know, visors. I, I, I played in the time when visors, you could wear anything. It was a very short period of time that I remember, but... Um, I remember guys would have dark and those uh, amber visors. Uh, that was just, you know, it was just what you played in. And then I remember one game, everybody had those visors in and everybody had to go take them out uh, just because everybody, they implemented the rule in at the start of that year. So, you know, it's just, uh, it's something that you just have to go by and there's nothing really you can do to fight it. Um, best safe, safest thing to do, get a clear one. Uh, you know, for looks and stuff, like I do it for decorating my uh, helmet that I have. I got one of the, these just to, you know, make it look cool on there. So, that's really all I have to say. Safe bet. Get a clear one. Um, don't try to push the rules too much. 
because, uh, you know, referees are smart. They're going to figure out, you know, if you've got too dark of a visor. But, you know, there are some companies that um, that make custom visors, and they'll put, like, a little mirror. Uh, you can almost, I think you can, this mirror, on the, the, it's mirrored on the front, so you can kind of see. It has a mirror reflection, but, like I said, safest bet. Go with clear. It's still going to offer the same protection. It's just without some of the looks that we like to have. So that's going to do it for this FQA vlog. Uh, I'll be back next week with another FQA vlog. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, hopefully I've answered them. I'll do my best, best of my ability. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.